where do you think that you go wrong with the relationships that you try to have Ooh, oh, with women? Ooh, that's yes. where, what, do you think, women? what do you think what makes about them the ones fail? With, men? <laughs> <laughs> with women? Yeah, with no, women or men. Just, just I get what no. you mean, like business, whatever. You're talking about relationships. With, Correct. With women. With women, okay. Yeah, like intimate. Right, okay. So... I for sure have figured this out now. And then we'll all say what we think. And I'm going to ask you also, like, life. if you figured it out, why I haven't you changed it? But well, go on. I've totally figured it out. It's just like being able to implement the change is also like, you know, finding the person that's willing to, you know, to be there. Right. Um, so you want to say what you think it is and then you want me to answer? Or you want me to answer it first? What I think your issue is in a relationship. Because yeah. like if I answer it, this might skew what you think. Yeah. Why don't you say it based on what you know about me? What I think your issue is in a relationship. Sure. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I think that sometimes maybe you go balls deep. Balls deep. I try. Like, it doesn't always work. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, you go, like, all in. Let's, <clears throat> let's say that. You go all in. Okay. And then, like, when you go all in kind of fast, there's more room for all in like sex no all in like you go all in like your feelings no, that's are all balls in deep, dude. Yeah. What are you saying? No, no, no. i didn't mean like i meant like like he's like you know sex on the first date that's no what that's I, not what okay. i mean i mean like I mean, he just gets involved a little like get involved gets involved fast even though you're very smart and strategical with like business decisions mm. i think all of that goes out the window when it goes to goes to a woman it's the exact opposite you think you overthink women Oh my god, dude! I I fuck it. The, the my biggest issue. You're like I, an unneutered dog, okay? <laughs> an unneutered dog? That is yes. wild to say about. Like me. you're just going around humping everything. What are you saying, dude? No, no. Yes. My, my issue has. And my, then you overthink at the end of the day. No, it is overthinking is a large part of it for sure, and I think a lot of people can relate to this. My biggest issue had been just like. Being able to be comfortable with just fully committing and not being afraid of like not showing up and not being enough. Like being afraid, like creating problems where like there aren't actually problems because like my just own insecurity stepping into the relationship being like, oh, this could be a problem because this and this could be a problem because like what that. Specific so overthinking. Like a, yeah. Like a specific thing. Give us an example. Okay. So you don't have to say who. Just give us an example. No, no. I'll give you an what? example. So just like seeing someone being like oh man this this could be great right and then you instead of looking at all the things that could be good like i'll look at all the things that could be good and then i'll create all these like other things that could come along that could be bad expectation Uh, not expectation just like worries scenarios in your head yes fears and then i'll start to like Take what's, a step back. Go ahead. What's one of those like fears? Like what's something that like I'll tell you pushes you off? He's like, oh, never mind. I'm not going to say it. Yeah. So it, it could be anything. Like for me, it's like, um, does this person want me because of this? Is, is Are their intentions true? Yeah, like you're worrying about all these certain things, right? Mm-hmm. And then you start to question, like I would just like hyper analyze things mm-hmm. and then be like, oh, this is weird or this feels like this or that feels like that. And I'm creating these scenarios that aren't necessarily exactly what's happening Mm -hmm. but then it starts to make me rescind myself and like pull back my attention and like honest like not do enough not show up the way that i could show up and like kind of like hold myself back in a sense and it stems from like i said the fear really is ultimately being like if i show up my best this person could still leave me and and, cut and and walk away from my life because maybe I wasn't good enough. Yeah, but that's actually, that's a lesson that my dad recently taught me. Um, I had a problem where I, I was very quick. I still, I still do shut down, but usually it's because like I go with my gut and my gut's usually right. But um, my dad has taught me to, uh, you know, like you have to, like if you ever want to progress and actually find real love, you have to be willing to, Put your heart on your sleeve and like literally lay it all out there. You have to like if you're going to be seeing somebody, you should at least like and this is on both sides, like the woman and the man should both have the respect to like really put an effort out there. Like obviously, you know, go on a couple dates first, kind of like get to know the person and stuff. But the moment that you realize like, oh, yeah, you know, I think I have interest in this person, you should really like completely put yourself out there and have complete vulnerability because if there's anything that you hold back from that person then how can you expect 
it to like last or go anywhere like you have to have complete vulnerability you want somebody that is your person right like somebody that can support you and be there whenever you need them to and you want to be fulfilled in a relationship etc so like you have to be very authentic like to the fullest both parties do absolutely yeah. for anything to actually ever work so it's just about finding i mean like for me recently it's like now that I've learned that lesson, I'm always completely authentic and like vulnerable with my partners. I will tell them exactly how I feel. I'll let them know I'm really into you. I'm not yeah, seeing other people, et cetera. Like I'm very verbal with how I feel and like what's going on in the relationship. So now it's just for me, it makes it easier because now it's just finding a partner that can reciprocate that. And yeah. then one day it's going to be successful once I find the person who can reciprocate i think it's just hard to find 22 year old men to reciprocate correct <laughs> that's that's true. yeah well like i said that i mean for me the, the thing of like me want to have a family like only really kicked in when i was younger i think excuse me when i was older mm -hmm. i think people like i don't know especially nowadays i don't know maybe it's just an la thing probably just more of an la thing like people are just so not focused on those sort of things everyone's just focusing on like the come up yeah. you know no, I don't true. think this is, this is, when I talk about this, it's always interesting because I'll read comments sometimes and people are like, oh, you're out of touch with like actual data. And I'm sure that I probably somewhat am because of my circumstances, but also really just because of like, the, besides just the circumstances, the industry in LA itself. Yes, because but you suck at going out. I know. I'm you terrible. expect to find someone at your own home, which won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> on the drive. At your own home. <laughs> on the drive to the gym, which won't happen unless you rerun okay, them. It's not going to happen on the drive. Okay. What if I um, like. No, stop. Okay. At Zoo Culture, which is 95% male dominant, and the 5% of women that come in are Faith and I. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You guys, this is this, this slander. That's cap. I don't know if it's that's cap. No, it's cap. There is multiple women at Zoo Culture. That's there's okay, tons fine, of women. There's tons of women, but I'm saying it's the most. like. It's the same rotation of women. You know, like you've already exhausted those options because you're I don't not. know if I've exhausted those <laughs> options. I'm saying I'm like, not, I'm not you're like, not like, I mean, nothing's progressed in the past eight years of Zoo. Why is it going to happen all of a sudden? Damn. Asking the hard question. Wow. What I, mean, I can't <laughs> say nothing's ever progressed. Like, okay. What I'm saying is that the chances of you finding someone at your own home, drive to Zoo, drive back to Zoo or Zoo itself, very <laughs> low chances at this point. Damn. So you need to do things. I need to move. Is what you're saying? You're, yeah, and sell the Maybe. house to me. No, <laughs> no this is all a plan <laughs> for you to get my house. No, don't move homes. That's not the issue. The issue is that you need to put yourself in circumstances where you meet new people that aren't gym people. I love gym people, though. Yeah, of course, as do all of us. But I'm saying, like, you go out. Maybe you go, like, stand outside the UCLA library. What? Do what? They'd be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> yeah, like, look at her. She's like, that's not the move. No, like, you read a book at the UCLA library. Just stand outside with a like, book. Go to, like, you go to a coffee shop or something. Go to a coffee no, shop. No, we were talking yeah. about this with Steiny. It was funny. He was like, he was going to get, like, a dress shirt, a computer, <laughs> and AirPods and go to a coffee shop. And that's where oh, he's going to pick up girls. Yeah. See, he's never going to be happy, though. You can't put on a front of, like, who you aren't. True. That's not going to get you anywhere. Like, definitely take care of yourself, you know, try a little bit, whatever. But, like, you can't, like, put on something that's not you you or else you're never actually going to find happiness yeah <laughs> so i think it's just about like going to places that are actually true to you obviously like the gym is one but, oh, but like have do you have any other hobbies go to the like? dog park and if man. not dogs i go to the dog park all the time three dogs. all right you're you gonna find your wife equals, at the dog park period. we talked about this dogs equal bitches or the dogs <laughs> are bitches yes but they also equal women coming towards you and be like oh my god it's so cute because if you think about it like girls will be taking their dogs out for a walk they're probably single that's why they have a dog and then you go out and you go they're take your probably dogs. single that's why they have a dog yeah because they're lonely like you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lonely, dude. Jesus Bro. Christ. 